We're in the kitchen at Second Harvest Food Bank in Spokane. We're ready to taste some great food. Got my co-tasters here with me today. Chef Laurent Zarati, thank you so much for joining us again. My pleasure. Yeah, Christy. we appreciate it. And co-host Tomas. Here we are again. Yes. Yes. Are we ready to taste some good food? I think so. Yeah, and I think it's lovely this this year, this season, you developed some of our, yes. our recipes How that we're going to be tasting. How exciting is that? I know, just for <laughs> yeah. our viewer, viewer and uh, we can uh, get yeah. those uh, recipes uh, only on, on our website, oh. on wildgrown.com. Yeah. And I hope uh, you will enjoy them all. Yeah, we love it. And, you know, we're still reminiscing about yeah. our trip, you know, to Vietnam and to Mexico and the markets and the food that we saw and that oh, wet market. And it was so interesting in Vietnam. And, you know, it's called wet because it's it's fresh. And Super fresh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Super almost, fresh. <laughs> almost to the point that I think a lot of us here in the States would just be freaked out by the mm. concept of it and I think that was what was so wonderful about it is going to see what other countries do yeah. it doesn't m make it wrong or right it's just a different way of doing things and it yeah. was great to be able to have that opportunity to be exposed to that yeah. and go wow this this yeah. was cool this it was, was cool. very cool and to see all of the Washington grown products in the in the, the yeah. like the produce yeah uh, right you know sellers there you know that's like the old school way of grocery shopping yeah. you know yeah. you, you ride your bike or your moped to the wet market and that's where you get your you daily your bag whatever and, uh, you go with um, whereas store to store some of the yeah. the newer more modern you know the younger generation in Vietnam tend to go to the grocery the stores store. and that sort of thing yeah. but it was great to see how the traditional yeah. you know still exists. Um, Next time, take me. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? You'd love, it. you'd love it. I think you'd love it. What's your recipe that you're sharing well, today? Well, we we're sharing something uh, a little different that I, I, I like because there is multi-purpose in that recipe. Uh, but it's a, a, a spicy zucchini chutney. Oh, so okay. You can use it as a condiment or use it as a okay. side vegetable. Nice. Well, we're always on. looking for ways well, to we'll see. Our, get our rid of that zucchini. <laughs> our team in the kitchen are doing great and yeah. Yeah. bringing beautiful dishes to us. We love it. And uh, we cannot yeah. tell Wait to, to taste uh, that uh, chutney. Yeah, yeah, let's find out how you make it. Yeah. So how would you suggest eating this? I'm just, I would like wrap. I'm just gonna wrap my meat and cheese in this. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna, I'll and use stuff some cheese. that chutney in there. Mmm. <laughs> sweet. It is. That's the so first sweet. thing I noticed was the mm -hmm. sweetness. Mm -hmm. It has some spiciness to it. It's a good way to give it some texture mm -hmm. and body to fill out exactly. that chutney. What's a normal, yeah. what's yeah. a typical chutney made out of? Uh, you, uh, plenty pineapple, just mango, mango chutney, mango, mango oh, chutney, okay. a lot of mango ch chutney. Yeah, I don't think I've cranberry ever... Cranberry chutney also, yeah. you can make for okay. holidays, for the Thanksgiving, you can right. make a chutney out of cranberries. What a unique way. I love it's it. Good, yeah. And it's, it's got great flavor. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Very nice one. Yes. Thank you very much. So if you'd like to give it a try, go to Washington Grown or wagrown.com, our website at Washington Grown. And we have all the recipes there. And follow us on social media too. Maybe give us a post if they... If you happen to try it, we'd love to hear about it. Right. Don't yes. be too harsh on me, please. <laughs> Cheers. They're going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> to get the recipe for Chef Laurent Zarati's zucchini chutney, visit us at wagrown.com.